Grab that rock and do a page up. Oh, <laughs> it is. I knew there was a, a no parking one, but they spelt parking. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. Thank you for flying a Biff Air. We are now gradually decreasing our speed and height as we approach Tethro International Airport here in the lovely land of New Zealand. If you look out of the left hand side of your window, we are flying over a lovely beautiful park area that many tourists will love to visit. And then of course you can head off and enjoy the nightlife in New Zealand. Thank you once again for flying a Biff Air. Please fasten your seatbelts. We are coming into land. Hugo's back and he's been hired as a trainee pilot at New Zealand's Tethro Airport. He loves watching funny cat videos during his lunch breaks over the public airport Wi-Fi. But Hugo can't shake off the worry of cyber threats like phishing scams, malware and password attacks that could come when using other people's Wi-Fi. So Hugo uses NordVPN, which includes threat protection to protect him against all of these online threats and more. Whenever I'm personally using public Wi-Fi, perhaps in a hotel or coffee shop, the library or the hospital, I want to make sure I've done all I can to protect my connection. So I also use NordVPN for that added peace of mind. It encrypts my data, so even if I accidentally use a fake Wi-Fi, my data is safe. So go to my link at nordvpn.com slash biffa now and get the NordVPN two-year plan plus four months free. It's also risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. So join me and Hugo browsing the web with confidence and without a care in the world. It might just be the best decision you'll ever make for your online security. Go to nordvpn.com slash biffa to sign up and find out more. And here we are at the Tethro International Airport. And today we're going to be working on this lovely place because it never got finished uh, before our city stopped working because of broken mods and all that sort of thing many, many months ago. We started this airport and we built a few things around here. We made it uh, functional and it has been... Oh, man, it's been transporting so many people. If we come out of this view and just have a look at the Tethro International Airport... Uh, I think in this panel here, 2.8 million people have uh, flown, <laughs> I was going to say thrown, that's not the word I was looking for, have flown on Biffa Air. And it's been absolutely brilliant. We're making so much money, which is great, but there's so much work to do. The edge of this island is all winky wonky. We're going to tidy that up and we are going to go through and add a lovely entrance area over here. We've got our airline headquarters building and so many more mods and assets or assets and buildings to add into here. And then we're going to look at all the transit options for getting around because one thing we never hooked up is the metro and oh jumpy game and we've only got one bus coming out over here one train so yeah lots and lots to do so let's dive in so one of the first things that we need to do over here which of course is something that is always extremely important is to save all of these rocks there's absolutely millions of them everywhere and you know what i think some of these rocks here are going to give us a bit of a shock if we just grab the move it mod grab that rock and do a page up oh <laughs> it is it's another alien rock good gravy there's one there i'm pretty sure this is also going to be another one they <laughs> take it over there's another one there i think these are all just normal small little rocks but then i did spot what's that there no it's just a bit of land these are just small rocks but then all the way over here i think there's this one nestled and hidden Oh my giddy aunt, it's another one. Alien Rock Park is getting a makeover today. Oh no way, <laughs> didn't even realise that one. What about this one? I think these are just normal flat rocks. Normal flat rock, and I think this is a normal flat rock as well. But oh, oh, there's, oh there's numerous rocks in here. What have we got going on? Another flat rock, looks like a bit of a spaceship. There's another one hidden underneath there, isn't there? Look. Oh, normal flat rock. Okay, so, oh my goodness me, this is, what, let's have a quick look, let's have a quick look, Alien Rock Park over here. So at the moment, three rocks high, 
And what we tend to do is just sort of pile them up as and when we find them. So let me just gather all of these rocks in one place over here so we can see what we've got. There we go. I think this is the last couple. Let's just grab that to go with all of these other rocks. There's so many of them. Good gravy. And yeah, quite a few that are going to be piled up. So let me just move all of these over to there right let's fly in here with the small ones and oh my goodness me we've like easily doubling the amount of rocks that we're putting in here yep yep looking good uh then we've got a bit of a balancing act to do right i've gone with all the flat ones first piled them all up nicely so let's just grab those there we go and we'll move those across here and if i place them there do control h and pick this top rock Ooh, no i've set them all at the same height that wasn't very good was it okay <laughs> while i've got them selected we'll just do page up do you think there's anybody looking out the windows of those flats there thinking what the heck is going on with all of these rocks and the shadow that's slowly increasing across the city they're really going to wonder what's going on aren't they i'm sure okay we're nearly there i just want this to nestle on the top boink, boink. there we go i think that looks realistic doesn't it let's just take a look in that view oh this is looking fantastic and then we've got these three or four here, which I'd like to sort of balance around there. And I think that should be about it. Oh, good grief. Yes. Well, anyway, there we go. <laughs> it's done. And the reason I need to do that is because we're going to straighten up this edge around here with some key wall. We need to make more space. And also we are going to reclaim some more land because up over here, uh, if we grab this, increase our brush size, we're going to go a lot bigger than that, which probably means we're going to flood everything. So right click and then come out. I want to add in here lots of other items like helicopters and things like that. There's a load of options for those. And also the aviation club. We're getting some sort of weird sort of texture on there, which I reckon is going to be. Let's have a look. Yes, oil or something like that was the answer to that question. Let's get rid of all of this. Okay, oil didn't get rid of it or oh, didn't get rid of it that didn't get rid of it what the heck okay all right let's try the sand that didn't get rid of it maybe let's unpause and see what happens i mean it's going to end up getting covered in concrete at some point anyway so i don't think it really matters but we're going to go with something like that um i also think we need to just stretch out this bit and then we'll do the key walls around it as well Of course, as always, you play with water, you dice with death, and we are going to basically knock out our airport. And I'm hoping that, ooh, dear me, and I'm hoping it isn't going to destroy anything. Oh dear, yeah, definitely a lot worse than I thought, but I think it's okay. Nothing's breaking. People are still managing to take off, which is great. And yeah, so let me run some key walls around the outside of this. Uh, you've seen that before, so it's going to end up looking like this. There we go. Excellent. Uh, better than it was. Nicely squared off. I need to sort of raise the key wall all to the same height all the way around. So if we get the move it mod... Use the picker picker mod, grab that, excellent, and then I should be able to just go like this over the whole thing. Yeah, and it's only grabbing the key wall, and I think if we set it to control H, the height of any of these along here. Oh man, the flooding has continued. <laughs> I didn't realise. Then all of this will be lifted up, and we've got our extra bit of land over there. Excellent, let me just fill in all of these gaps, and oh. We've got some boys running through there. Oh, it's okay. They're manually placed boys. So, yeah, I can get those to go all the way around the outside here and be nice and tidy, which is good. So, at the minute, I'm just sort of flattening the land all along here, making sure there's no, yep, little nasties over there. Lots of grass all over the place. Well, that's fine. You would expect that. A lot of this is going to be concreted over as we go along. 
a little bit of space there and then somewhere over here this wall will finish and connect up the same with this one not quite sure what's going to happen with that just yet excellent right so let's take a look at some of the items that we are now looking at to place uh, over here. We're going to have to try and get a road over here as well. I also like this little trick that I've seen a few other City Skyline YouTubers use where you can sort of square off those corners like that, which I think makes them look a lot, lot better. Uh, for something sort of official like this, if it's sort of, you know, something in a touristy area, the curved area looks good, but something like this, a nice big slab of land with square corners, that is what we need. Okay, so if we just place a road down here so we can start putting some items down and moving them around where we want them. Uh, let's just pop that down there. So I've got a whole list of things we want to go through. The Aviation Club is the first thing. So if we just pop that down and have a look. So we've obviously got the runway there, which I don't mind having up against a runway along here. If I just pause that, we can use the Move It mod. And I'd actually like this to be lined up, but with enough room either side that it isn't really going to cause a problem. And we could even sort of have it ooh, down the end here. And I'm just wondering whether we could even hook into these. Would having some sort of connection coming around the end here be an issue? I don't think it would. So maybe we could do that. But of course, I'm going to want to make sure it's all lined up correctly so if we come off of here and go like that and then we'll grab this and say move it and we'll pop it in i know it's going to overlap the road a bit that's fine because we're going to get rid of this road oh my goodness look at all these green things everywhere yeah i'm just looking at this and it goes the other direction okay well i'll tell you what we're going to do then if we're going to grab all of that and this road we are going to doink 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 spin it around and then we're going to bring that over here instead. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. And then that should be going the same direction. And then this little service road can hook around there somewhere. That'll be okay. And then I was thinking of adding in another sort of taxiway to connect to that. But I think, to be honest, we're going to keep that as a separate item. Um, and then I'm just going to use the Move It mod, grab that and reset it. But it seemed to be I was leaving some lights behind over there. And I think that'll work. Uh, this road will get upgraded at some point, but we'll pop it in here for now. So that is going to sort of head out down there somewhere. We'll work that out. And then that'll also head down this way somewhere. And then the other items that I want to put on there here are these high capacity fire helicopter. And what's this one here? Medical. And this will be the high capacity police depot. And I'm thinking the helicopter stuff really needs to go over here out the way. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to grab that road there. We are then going to use this mod here. Um, is that the one? Create parallel mode. Yep. And we're going to go from there to here. Is that going to work? Let's do it the other way. From there to here. Excellent. That is probably enough space back from there. I know we need to sort of sort out the ends. In fact, what I'm going to do... Whoa, jumpy game. Good gravy as I'll do that. And then we can set those up there. And then I'm also going to do the same from let's start from there down to here around the corner to there excellent there we go and then we can always hook these up with a bit of let's turn this mod off otherwise everybody gets unhappy a bit of corner action like that that corner's okay this can come into here nice and straight which is good like so excellent we'll get some node manager stuff going on there and this one here could literally come down and hook into there maybe i'll change that up a bit we'll come out straight first of all if i can there we go and then go straight down there yeah that'll do and then we can always extend this around here a bit and tidy that up while i think of it let's just get node controller maybe just squaring off the ends will be enough for that and then the road we're actually going to use is not this one. So let's change it up for an industry road. I am thinking, is this one going to be too big? Let's add that in there. We might just have to change that bit at the end. Do you know what? It is going to be very busy down here. So I think we'll upgrade it to this one. So I'm glad I left a bit of space. And then this one coming down here 
can be the normal one. Oink, 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 oink. There we go. <laughs> yes, I've no idea. Um, and then we're going to add a little bit of space in here for these to go up against as well. Oh, will that be an autosave sip of tea that I see? Mmm. It is, so I'm going to do that. And then this one, will that fit in here? Once the game comes back to life. Yeah, there we go. Game's come back to life. We pop that one in there and then sort of maneuver it over ever so slightly. I think this sort of complex here could be quite good. So, yeah, we'll go with that. We're going to have lots of parking and other stuff around here as well. Is this a helicopter heading out, coming into land? Heading off to do some good stuff. Excellent. So now we can start to tidy up this area a bit. We don't need that helicopter depot. We've got these recycling centers here, which are good because we've got a lot of stuff going on down here with houses now that we didn't have before. And let's have a look the distance that has to reach. Yeah, we've got some down here as well. But this always seems to need um, help with the old garbage. So what I'm thinking we're doing is we're going to pop these down here. They might get moved at some point as we're expanding and building but for now they can just go down there excellent so what else have we got up here so we've got the lots of little hotels and things which are will be staying for now this is like the luxury airport hotel isn't it and we're going to need a load of parking so i am thinking about rejigging this area here so we can have a lot of parking added and one of the things i want to do is move this down to the end so let's pause that. Let's delete all of this here. Hopefully it's not going to mess up any lines. How far can I go? And it still looks like it's attached. About there. Does that look okay? Yeah, that's all attached, isn't it? Yeah. So the reason I want to move it along is because when we add the parking in, I want people to, you know, be right near to the parking. Or they can get off the parking and jump on a train. And it's all sort of, yeah. As always, the people are running like mad. Oh, these are all the people coming in inside. Oh, I didn't even know you could see the people on the inside. Oh, that is fantastic. There's like waves of them running through here. And that's been moved along by the look of it. And it's working itself out. Yep, good. Excellent. Uh, we'll just add a little bit more water in there. As they seem to have a bit of an issue. And I'd like most of this out here to be parking. So our airline headquarters building, that's going to go over into this area as well. So we'll just pop that over there for now. This is going to stay. Are these just normal budget airline hotels? But I think we're just going to take that all of this out and then we're going to rejigger a little bit. So let's remove some of these. I don't think that is straight coming down there. So we want to just sort that out. We'll grab this. So this will be the main way in and out. And then I want the parking off of either side down here. So we are going to use these ones here. So let's just have a look at what that looks like. Poorly maintained parking. That looks like just what we need. So let's get, if I go right up close to there and go out 350. How close can I get these? Yeah, that doesn't seem too bad, does it? like that and then we'll do the same on the other side yeah there we go i mean we've got some nodes in the middle here which are a little bit small i mean we can't even sort of yeah i don't know i think that should be okay i don't think that should cause any problems and then of course i got to fill all of this in uh, with all of these lovely things okay so i've done one what i'm going to do then is just select buildings and i should be able to copy that there we go and then pop these in these other ones and if they're all nicely lined up and straight we should be okay there we go let's have a look that looks good to me but then the accessibility parking down here i think for this section we'll leave all of these ones we'll remove these ones and have these as uh charging areas so we're just going to get rid of those and we'll get rid of these this is a little bit too far away from over there we've got those ones up there there we go. That is what you would expect to see at an airport. Tons of parking. I mean, probably realistically, it would cover even more land. Looking at a, a map of Heathrow, there is absolutely tons of parking. But I think for the game, we'll use this. I do have realistic parking AI on. Um, so we should see this fill up as time goes by. I was just thinking about adding a toll road to come in here as well. I can find those. It's been so long since I used them. There we go. So what's this one here? Two-way toll booth. Two-way large toll booth. Would that just be too big? Yeah, that's too big. This one here could possibly 
just about fit in if we sort of monkey with the road a bit. So I'm using a moving mod, but I'm holding control. So that sort of rotates it around like that. So I can try and get it a little bit nearer to this bit down here. And then we can sort of straighten out some of the bits. I think that looks okay. And then hopefully if we can grab, I want a four lane small road. So let's just go for the normal four lane small road. That'll be in this menu here. Forget when I'm playing vanilla or playing with mods, the menus are different. There we go. And that adds in there. Hopefully that will work okay. That fits in all right, doesn't it? With the train line going over the top. Yeah, why not? We'll crank that up and see if we can make more money out of how many people are using this airport on a regular basis. 690 weekly passengers. We're making a ton of money. And the airline is making... I think that's the same figure, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, very pleased with that. So we'll see how that goes. Right, what is next on the list? So let's work on this little area here. We've got this little extra road now that we don't need in there. Um, I think we'll probably just sort of change how this goes as well. So if we grab that and bring this out like so. Let's, yeah, let's make it go straight. And then we just see if we can do a wiggly wiggly connection from here to here. Oh, okay, I thought it was going to be more wiggly. It was less wiggly than I thought. We've got one little tiny parking area here. If you're lucky enough to get in, we can sort of say maybe that's the private parking for those that work in here. Although you'd have so many people working in here, wouldn't you? Maybe, I don't know, for the pilots. They can come out and come in this way. And a bit of free parking on the road as well. We don't talk about that. Only if you're lucky enough to get there. Um, this we are going to change. So I'm going to grab that. And bring that in there instead. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? With the corner going on. This is the way you can get in and out. So that's all looking okay. Um, so let's maybe just work on this spot here. So I'm thinking these hotels in this little area here. If we grab all of this again. There we go. We'll bring that over. I know there's a little bit of parking on here as well. But I don't mind that so much. I'm thinking if we sort of... You know, back it away from this road here. Let's do it straight with that. But maybe have it connect over there. I'm just sort of thinking, I mean, I know we're always limited by space. But if you were sleeping in here, you're going to be hearing the planes coming in wherever you are. This is like a last resort just before your flight goes out type of situation. So maybe being right near to this is very exciting for you. So maybe that's something you'd like to see. Or we could just change it slightly. Yeah, what about this instead? Let's try this. We're going to give this a little connection here. We can move this and line it all up a bit better as we go along. We'll give that another connection there. Uh, let's grab all of these and ever so slightly. Yep, not hold shift, hold control. No, hold alt. That's the one. We can nudge it over a little bit. There we go. We're getting a weird crossing there but we can sort that out so you've got taxis a little bit of extra parking as well a couple of hotels looking at each other i think that's a lot better and then i would even take this luxury hotel and pop that over here i can already hear the comments luxury hotel right by the airport what about all the plane noise yep that is what's going to happen and then these two here i think these are going to go i think these two are going to go from right out the front yeah there we go this is drop off pick up oh yeah we've got a police thing here it <laughs> doesn't seem to be doing a very good job and then we could put a little bit more parking perhaps in here and some detailing as well so i definitely want some pedestrian only and uh, access for the buses so when they come in they're going around this direction yeah up there and out there so could we just sort of go straight across like that if i go up to there and then go across i want to get this straight and then we could do another one next to it like that and have each of these with a a stop on like so yeah we could even leave that connecting road so this is pedestrian only but the buses can come in and out of here and i'm also thinking the compact bus station might actually look quite good at the end here so we'd have stops there and we could have some stops going in and out of here as well I think that could work quite well. So maybe let's add another one of these roads along the back. There we go. And then I want to come straight out there and straight out here. 
That's far too close. Okay, let's maneuver those. There we go. Just shifted it around a bit. It ended up being too close to the nodes up the top there. So, yep, I think that works well for in there. So we've got the train covered. We've got the bus covered. We've got the parking covered. There's also a metro. Yes, of course. So where are we going to head this metro out? Now, we do have, or if we haven't, we are going to add. Yeah, we've got a, a little shuttle train that comes over here. Um, some people are going to want to walk, so we're going to add that in. But also, I'm just wondering whether we could add... Let's have a look. We definitely could have buses coming over here. I don't think we're going to build Metro over here. I think with the train and the buses, that's enough to get everybody over uh, to this beautiful island that we've been building over here. If you haven't seen this before, there's probably a load of trees where there shouldn't be, but we'll live with that for now. So we've got all of our lovely zoo stuff in the middle we've got some amusement park stuff over here as well if we carry on over this side of the island we've got some more zoo stuff down here all the bamboo trees and things lovely over the water look at that do love those cable cars very nice and then we've got this area over here that we haven't quite finished yet and then we try to sort of get a little path into here and turn this into a park as well which is very good. So lots to see and do over here. So the nearest metro line that we've got is over here uh, to the east that just dead ends. And I reckon that might just be where we make our connection. Um, so if I grab, yep, this one here, we're going to go tunnel underground and then I'm going to see if I can use this one here and say, could you go, hold shift to go underground. Ah, oh, I missed that. Could you go from there? to do, 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 hold shift to over there where would that take it that is an extremely wide loop yeah do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add in a little curve myself so i'm gonna say this is the sort of direction i want you going in and then i'll do the same over here and then if we go back to this one and say go from there to go to here there we go that is more along the lines of what i had in mind and hopefully <laughs> it's all under the water. Oh, okay, I'll use the move it mod to lower this down. So move it mod, underground mode. And we'll just drop those down until we can't see this little marking above the sea anymore. I think that should be okay. There we go. A little bit lumpy bumpy, but that's going to work fine. And then if we look at our lines that are coming through here. Uh, metro lines. What have we got? We've got this green line here. Where does that go? So that continues all the way along here all the way along here all the way along here going through to our hub isn't it yeah excellent to hibiscus tea transfer cool beans so we are going to grab that and i'm going to bring that and add an extra stop on the end there we go excellent and then make sure we've still got the stops in here so all these people are happy there we go very good i'm not quite sure which one that is there we go it's this one here t to maple 1197 passengers with nine trains nine metros and it's not enough look at all these people now that is that is a couple of very long lines so i might actually adjust that at some point but until then, I'm just going to pop this on. It's already at 500 capacity, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll up the amount of metros that are on there. And then we'll take a closer look at that another time. Uh, we need to actually put a pedestrian zone on here, don't we? So this all works. Ew, it's in the middle of an airport. And of course, they take up the same type of zone. So I'm going to just take this one out in the middle. Roink, and I'm going to pop this one in here. There we go, Hickory Street. And then if we bring that over here and <laughs> wiggle around a bit and come down this side, this can be where we add in whatever services that needs. And then we just take all of this one away. There we go, back to there. And then we'll just fill this one back in. Boink, 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 and boink. There we go, excellent. So that should work fine. And then over here, we can fulfill any needs that it's got. So I'm just gonna run that out there. So we need some garbage service points. And I think probably garbage service point is about the only thing we need. Uh, which one am I looking in here? So why don't we go for... We'll go for a large garbage service point. I want that off the road at the back here. Um, and then we could also go for a large cargo service point. And we're going to put those back to back. No cargo service point. Hello? Cargo service point. Operating normally. Are you happy? Have they gone into different areas? I bet that's what's happened. They're all in the same area. 
And he's happy. Very good, very good. Got some more detailing we can do over there in a moment. What are you doing? Are you not able to connect on here? Do you know what we could do, actually? With all of this going on around here, we could just have a connection like through there. Would seem to make sense to save going around all over there if you're coming up that way. Um, which probably means we could do a similar thing over there. Just to try and keep things moving. Yeah. And that connects up the top here, so that's okay. If anybody's landing and coming in and wants to go straight into this area, it would make sense to have a connection across here. So I'm going to go that way and then turn it around. There we go. Excellent. Just a bit more connectivity around there. Very good, very good. And then also a little bit more connectivity around here as well. We're going to come along the back connect up to this one let's do it this way we'll delete that let's go to there and go through there and then we'll just make sure that that's all facing the right way so i'm sort of looking at a map of heathrow airport and just trying to sort of take a little bit that goes around the outside we'll jump again and try and take a little bit of in inspiration from there there's also a lot of connections sort of between the runway and this but we can actually only connect at either end there's probably mods online that help you with that but um, that is what we're going for at the moment. We've got that connection there, that connection there. Let's just give this one a little bit of a curve. Help me get around the corner. <laughs> looks bad, doesn't it? There we go. Help me get around the corner there. Still nice and symmetrical. Still looks a bit like the Starship Enterprise if you squint. But I think that's okay. Right, so let's get a little bit of detailing done around some of these areas and see where we're at. Okay, lots of detailing has been done. I'm just finishing off with a bit of fence action around here. I'm just thinking I might move this back a little bit because these guys seem to like to take a wide berth when they're driving their planes. So I think out here would be good. And then across the back here, this is going to be the end. Have I got a fence running along here? I have. So if I can hook in here somewhere... That would be great. So we've got fences around everything, trying to sort of keep it all protected and secured. I've gone for this sort of weedy brush thing here, just to chuck a load of weeds down, because I sort of thought, you know, all this open land isn't just going to be perfectly... <laughs> perfect grass everywhere. I don't know. I would have preferred it if it was less green and more yellow, but what I had available to me... I just think it takes the edge off of all of that around there. A lot of concrete in the areas where I think you would have concrete. Nice bit of detail in here with all the lights. If we take a look at that. At night time. Oh, what do we reckon to that? That, I don't know, looked like a proper flipping airport, doesn't it? When you get the lights off like that. Oh, looking forward to a nice time lapse at the end with that. And the car park as well probably could actually do with... A couple more lights in here. Um, if we just leave that as it's set. If I grab... Hmm, oh yeah, let's turn that off. It's set to nodes. Grab that and copy that. Is there somewhere in the middle? I'm going to have to eyeball this. If I pop that there. All the way along here and the other side. Possibly not perfectly lined up, but I can go back and check those. And that is much, much better. You wouldn't mind parking in there, would you? Oh, very good, very good. This little area over here. Might as well check it. 
in the dark with all the lights. We've got this little kiosk perhaps for buying your bus tickets. We've got these city skylines too, planters, some benches. And I thought I'd just keep this bit clear in here because you're just sort of getting off the bus, wanting to look where you're going to go and get your plane without any messing around. Um, I was thinking about changing the layout of this, but I think I'm going to just leave it as it is, I'll be honest. Um, so this little bit down here, let's go back to daytime so we can see it a little bit better. Boink. There we go, 11.03, perfect. So I've made this a little bit nicer. This is just like the hotel. We've got a couple of car parks in here as well. But you can walk around, grab some taxis, stay in your amazing hotels right next to here. Oh, there's actually cars parking on the top. I'm sure they weren't there before. We can test that, actually. If we get the move it mod. Move it mod. Move it mod. Grab that and do... Yeah! There we go. So I'm refreshing that. And it's got different cars on the top. So these must be car parking spaces. Very nice. Very nice. Um, oh, they're all parked on the road. I'm going to change that for no parking. Because they should be using... So let's grab that road there. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's finding it all the way over there. What kind of road is that? Road with crossings. Okay, I just want a normal 2 you road with no parking. So if I do no parking. No, nope. there we go. I knew there was a, a no parking one, but they spelt parking. So that's why I couldn't find it. So if I upgrade these roads here. Oh, that is attached to that, isn't it? So that ain't going to help. So if I just do these first and I'm going to mess up all the flipping trees that I've placed. Darn you, game. Um, these ones are okay. I'm going to just take the trees off of there. And that'll be fine. And then this one here will have to unlock. So if we grab that, unlock that. Then grab this. Then upgrade that. And then we'll go back and lock it again. So you're happy. Whoop. Lots of jumpy game today. There we go. Excellent. Oh, and the trees have mostly come back. Very good. So hopefully now they're parking in all the car parks. And then over here, we've got this is working nicely. We've got lots of little planes that are shooting off. But this is all blocked off as well. So you can't go wandering onto anything. I'm going to do something with those grasses. And then over here, we've just sort of concreted this out. And I actually... Oh, we've got a fence coming across there. Let's grab that. We change that to nodes. Grab that there and just shiftify that back there. I actually saw a truck. I know these do make raw materials, but I can't say I've ever seen a raw materials truck coming out of it. Look, this one. Okay, no, he's doing something else. Don't worry about that. But I actually saw a forestry truck come out of one of these, which was uh, unusual. So there we go. So I just concreted this all off and put some of these distribution buildings in just to sort of give an idea of office work. And these are basically warehouses. So I've set them to various zone goods on balance, which will just keep some traffic chundering around here as well. And then a couple of office buildings. I was just going to grab those. So let's two, three, four, five. Copy that. I was just going to grab some of those over here, but maybe not the end ones. There we go. Just to sort of fill out this space a bit. Let's maybe... Oh, I'll tell you what we can do. Is if we grab those and we go into here, we can line up objects. Very nice. We'll do the same over here as well. Excellent. Just sort of tie these things up a bit. And I'm just thinking we're going to copy that one there. And just pop that on the end. Just sort of sandwich that in. So that's a little area all on its own. I feel like this needs some gates around it. So let's come over here. There we go. And then I was just going to change this bit here, actually. I'm going to remove that. And we're going to add a little bit of parking in here for all the people that work over here. So we're just going to take a one new road, no parking, NP, as you saw. We're going to run that into there. I'm just going to straighten that up a little bit. That's fine. And then we're going to grab our... Oh, man, trying to remember where everything is in all of these different menus sometimes is like brain boggling. I want to find the parking, which... Oh, I just saw it. Let's go back into here. Plus when you've got a load of... No, it's not the one I'm looking for. Plus when you've got a load of extra stuff added as well. Here we go. Is that going to fit in there? That might just be a little bit too big. How's that look? Oh, that's not too bad, is it? We could have that there. And then if we sort of jump around the place, we can add a couple more in in other spots as well. And because I know you're going to mention it, I'm going to take all the traffic lights off of here because we don't need all of those. I think there is none up there. Nope, so that's all okay. Let's just head out this way. 
So that's got a traffic light, which I just think needs giveaway, I'll be honest. None of this needs traffic lights or anything. So we're going to take those off, those off. Nothing round here. We've got crossings to get across there, but nothing over here. So let's just put that back. We did have a node there. So we're going to change that to crossing. Oh, there we go. Plenty of crossings over here. There's bound to be some there. So let's change that there we go and then use move it just to slide that along yeah that's fine it's going to line that up but that's no problem and then i think all of this is all set okay let's just check here yeah no traffic lights there i mean we could put a giveaway on there but there's hardly anybody coming down here not busy at all and we spoke about the mass transit for this area i think we will do an overhaul of that at some point in the future with all the other mass transit that we've got in the area but how about a little time lapse to take a look at what we've done So let me know in the comments what you think about our changes and upgrades to T-Throw Airport. Anything you would have done differently? Anything you would add that I've missed? Let me know in the comments. And then check out the next video on the screen as well. Wow, doesn't New Zealand look beautiful at night? Love it. Thank you for all of your support. I will see you soon for the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.